Blackwell Academy. All these privileged mother freakers. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Same missing girl. Uh, Miss Grant. Hey, Miss Grant. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Um It could have helped Rachel? David Madsen. Rachel's the chick that's missing? I'm gonna go with that one. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? Um, you know a lot. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. Oh. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Oh. <laughs> um. Do we want... I'll sign it just because I like her. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. <laughs> well, you know, I only did it for you. Would not have signed it if it was just me by myself, that's for sure. What is this? Warren. How do I look that up? All right, go. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool, you'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where might the dorms be? Let's see here. Main building. Derm dorm materials. Here we go. Hi, guys. Stella. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Yeah. I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. <laughs> it must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. Of if course. Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Uh should never want to make a move on a teacher. That's a terrible idea. No way. No way. You can get him so busted. And he's not going to mess around with a student. That's what you think. Nah. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. No. Well, I heard that from a good source. A good source? That's not true, then. You knew Rachel? Interesting. Uh, let's go with that. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. You know, I just... Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe you did have sex with a student. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Yeah. Pretty cool. Parking, main building, dorm dormitories. That's where we're going. 
Go to the dormitories. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Bruh. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Alrighty, let's take a look around. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Man, I didn't even know it. What a jackass. Hey, Alyssa. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Well, let's talk to her then. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Good. Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Well. No need to read or be rude. Yeah. What's going on over here? Is this the cool kids? Oh, it's definitely the cool kid. Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Well. Is that the door where I need to go in? I'm gonna have to tell her to move out the way. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> well, no need to be a jerk, lady. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. I would step over oh, that wait. bitch's face. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Yeah. Let's do something to get her out of the way. No. Sprinkler. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Awesome. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. I think that sounds like the plan. What else we got over here? This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Does it? I don't know how easy it looks. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. <laughs> yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look... Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Well, it's kind of what happens. Uh-oh, something bad's going to happen. I'm worried. Should we we can't turn it off. Or maybe we could turn it off again so, you know, nothing bad happens. I'm not going to walk underneath that, that's for sure. Oh, we can knock it over on her or something. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping. What the hell? They're still standing in the way. She looks like a pissed off wet cat and she's still stylish. I need to figure this out. I think maybe... Hmm. Okay. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Um There has to be Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Sweet. 
I can't go over there. Do something with the uh, the football. Hey, nice. buddy. Okay. To you, maybe? No. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. This sucks. Nice, I can't knock this guy over or anything. All right. Yes, I see the paint hey, can. Max. Rewind and find something. But I don't know what the hell you want. Well, oh, here we go. Tamper. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's go turn on the water. Then, when she stands up, the, the other guy will drop paint on her. Look at Hopefully, the Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Well, get off the damn steps then. Here we go. This is it. No. No way. Yes. No fucking way. Okay, Victoria. Yes. Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. But she's still sitting there. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? For you to get out the way. Come for her. I'm a nice guy. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Quick kiss in her ass. Tell her to move out the way. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. No. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. Oh, thank that you. That was mean, but pretty funny. Don't don't say that. One of those days, you know. I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Au revoir. All right. Victoria probably played me. 